Good afternoon, Coach. How you doing? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing good. So, how are the Lady Indians doing? You know, right now we're doing individuals and we're doing uh, conditioning. Kids are kids are really, really buying in. They're doing a fine job of uh, you know getting themselves prepared for a, a very difficult season schedule. Uh, we go play everybody anywhere, anytime. Uh, so they're going to have to be very, very, very ready uh, to go right at the first of the season because it's going to be a tough one. But with eight sophomores, not eight, nine sophomores, uh, some returning, some that just brought into our into our family, uh, I think we're more than prepared to do some good things this year. You know, we had some bad bad uh, news yesterday that Kira Files is out. She has a torn ACL, so uh, one of the best players in the country. So that that puts us behind the eight ball a little bit, but you know. With all these sophomores and returners and things like that, I think we'll, we'll be more than ready to go. Who are some players that are standing out this year? You know what? I tell you, uh, we had two young ladies that's come back and impressed me. They've, got, they've changed their bodies. Uh, their mindsets are, are really changed as well. Latifa Amsel and uh, Brenda McKinney. Uh, I think both those kids are going to have uh, really good sophomore years uh, just if they stay healthy, uh, barring injury and things like that, knock on wood. But uh, those two kids have come back and changed their bodies, and they look, they look really, really good right now. Bought in uh, somewhat to what they need to do to help us help our squad. Uh, you know, with some of the, the new newbies we've got, you know, the freshmen, uh, we've got a young lady from Orange Park uh, that's going to do great things for us this year. I really believe Nia Brown. Uh, we have a young lady from the United Kingdom uh, that I believe is going to be very, very good for us, Miriam, a point guard. Uh, we've got a young lady from Carrollton, uh, about a five. All these kids are five eleven, six foot six one. So we have good length. Uh, a young lady from Carrollton, Georgia. It's about five eleven. Really, really good shooter. Uh, so we're excited about our young kids. We've got a big kid from uh, Sumter, South Carolina. He's about six three. That you know we thought that would would be just a little bit of a project, but she's really turning the corner on some things. You know she's got good hands, good feet. So we're excited about her too. Uh, whether that translates into wins or not, I don't know, but I really, really can tell you this. I think we have a good group of people uh, that will represent Chipola really well, uh, and that's what I'm really most excited about. I was just going through grade checks, and I can't be particular about who because <laughs> that might be against the law for me to say, but I'm really excited about the fact that almost every kid is all A's and B's. Uh, so uh, it started this school year, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, making making sure that we're getting right on the right foot right off the bat. Have a new coach, Rashad Baker, that really has come in here and done a fine job. He comes up here every night with them and sets with them and lets them shoot. And have another new assistant, uh, Rachel Johnson, that played for us. Uh, she's come back and, and really doing a fine job uh, just putting me in the right spots and piecing me together every single day and making sure I'm, I'm on point. So that's a full-time job right there, I can tell you. But she's doing a really, really, really excellent job. I can't be any more pleased with my assistant coaches right now uh, at this point. Thanks, Coach, for that update. We look forward to it in our new season. We'll see you next week. Thank you. I appreciate you, buddy.